Hi everyone, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me Laura and today we've got another Tunisian crochet stitch to learn and this is going to be for the bobble simple stitch. Okay, so we're going to take our yarn, I'm going to use this yarn and this is just a DK light wool stitch weight yarn but you can use any yarn that you like basically for this stitch but with this I happen to be using a 4mm Tunisian crochet hook so this is a straight crochet hook it looks like a knitting needle, it's so long but it's so we can hold lots of loops and we're going to start off with very simple um, crochet to begin with we're going to do a little slip knot we're going to work to units of 3 so I'm just going to use the 3 times table so 1 two and three another three four five and six another three seven eight nine i'll do another three ten eleven and twelve so we're working to units of three and once we've got our unit of three we're happy with the length i'm just going to stop there for this tutorial then we're going to add two on top of that so i'm going to do an extra one and two okay so unit of three plus two then what we're going to do is we're just going to do a very um, basic beginning tunisian crochet so we're going to work into our second chain from our hook so we don't count the loop on our hook there's our first chain there's our second put our hook into there and we're going to grab the yarn and bring it through the chain i'm just going to keep it on our hook i'm going to do that all the way across so we go into the next chain grab the yarn so this is just like normal Tunisian crochet, we always start the same way. If you're brand new to Tunisian crochet, then I have a whole playlist of uh, beginner Tunisian crochet tutorials, so go check those out. I'll try and put the link in the description below if I remember. So we're just working into every chain, grabbing the yarn, bringing it through and just keeping it on our hook. And try to keep your stitches uh, not too tight so they move up up and down your hook nice and easily and to do that all the way to the end okay and once you're at the end you will have the same stitch count that you began with and then we're just going to do a normal Tunisian reverse row and to do that we do a chain one so we just yarn over pull through that first loop only we always have to do that at the end then we just yarn over and pull through two loops until we get to the end so it's nice and easy to remember let's pull through two pull through two pull through two back to the beginning until you have one loop left So there we go, we've got one loop left and now we have created this little row of what I call ladder bars, these little vertical bars and we're going to do a normal row of simple stitches to begin our pattern. So we never work under the first vertical bar because we've already got a loop on our hook so it's like the stitch has already been worked. So we're going to find our next vertical ladder bar here and we're going to do the simple stitch so we're just going to go under that bar grab the yarn and just bring it under the bar and then keep the loop on your hook so nice and easy and then we do that all the way across so we go onto the next vertical ladder bar grab the yarn bring it under keep it on our hook and do that all the way across so we're just going to do the simple stitch to begin do a nice easy row of simple stitches just working under every vertical bar And when you get to the end, make sure you work under the correct final bar because sometimes your work can turn around like this. You could end up working under this bit by accident. You need to make sure that that is flush with your hook like that and then you can clearly see that final vertical bar. And we're just going to work under there. 
So there we go, we've done just some simple stitches all the way across, our stitch count's the same. And then we do a reverse row, which is the same, it's always identical. So we yarn over and do a chain one at the end. So just pull through just one loop. It's really important to remember to do that one by itself, otherwise you'll get your work will start creating a diagonal slant. So then we're gonna work yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two until you get back to the beginning. Okay, so just coming up to the beginning. There we go. So now we've created another row of vertical ladder bars above our previous row. And this time we're going to create our bubble stitches. So what we're going to do to begin with, we, again we don't work under that first vertical bar because our stitch is already worked. We're going to work under our second vertical bar and we're just going to do a simple stitch again. So just go under the vertical bar, bring the yarn up. We're going to do that for the next stitch as well, the next vertical bar. But this time we're going to create our bobble. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain four, just like in normal crochet. We're going to chain four and just bring it under this loop we just brought up. So we yarn over, pull through that first loop. So that's one and do that again. Two, three and four. And your work sort of starts turning anti-clockwise. So you created all these little chains on this loop here. And then we want to work onto the next vertical bar, but to make sure our bobble stays at the front, just push it down, making sure that pushes to the front. So to make sure it doesn't go to the back, just it should easily push down on top of your chains. Then go under the next vertical bar and do a simple stitch. Okay, and then you've created a little group of chains, make a bobble. So we're going, we've gone under that next vertical bar ready and we're going to go on to the next two so go on to the next vertical bar and do a simple stitch and the next vertical bar do a simple stitch and then we're going to create a bobble again so we're going to chain four just under this loop here so chain one two three and four so we've got another little group of chains and again we want to make sure that we're pushing those chains down with our hook on top and then we're going to go under the next vertical bar and do a simple stitch and again that sits at the front. We'll do that all the way across so we've already gone under that simple stitch we're going to go under the next two do a simple stitch one and the next stitch two so we're going doing three in between then we chain four just under that first loop so one two three and four and again we're just going to sort of push our hook to the back and then down on top of it and then make sure you can find your next vertical bar and do a simple stitch in the next three so one two and three. I'm going to do one more bobble stitch, so chain four. One, two, three and four and again sort of push your hook to the back and then push on top of those chains and then we're going to do a simple stitch in the last two vertical bars. And this very last one, making sure your work is flush with your hook so you know where that last vertical bar is. Just grab the yarn and bring it through. And there we go, we've got a little row of bobble stitches. Then we do a reverse row as normal. Reverse rows are always the same. We just do a chain one, just through one loop at the end. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through two until we get back to the beginning. So yarn over, pull through two pull through two, pull through two, 
back to the beginning. Okay, and there you can see your little bobble stitches caught at the front. And we've got another row now of vertical bars. And we're just going to do a row of simple stitches for the next row. So again, we don't go under that first vertical bar. We find the second one and we're just going to do simple stitches. So we're just going to grab the yarn, bring it through, keep it on a hook. And then this one can be a little bit smaller above our bobble. Just grab the yarn and bring it under and do that all the way across. Okay, not to miss these little ones above the bobbles. And you should have the same stitch count still. So I started with 12 and plus 2, so I had 14 stitches. So you can just double check your stitch count on this forward row. So once you've got all your loops up, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, so our stitch count's the same. And this is just a simple stitch row, so the reverse stitches uh, are the same. So we just do a chain one at the end, very important to remember that. And then pull through two, back to the beginning. Pull through two, pull through two. Okay, and then that separates out your bobble stitches really nicely, ready for another row of bobble stitches. So again, to do our bobble stitches, we don't work under the first vertical bar. We're going to do a simple stitch under the next two. So one and two. And then we create our bobble, which is just chaining four. Let's chain one, two, three, and four and then make sure we keep that to the front so we're going to push our hook slightly back and then down on top of our chains my camera wants to stay focused and then we're going to work onto the next vertical bar onto the next three and do simple stitches so one two and three and do the same thing again chain four And just repeat that all the way across, creating little bubbles. Chain four. Push on those little chains. Make sure they stay at the front. Then simple stitch in the next three. One, two, three. We can do one more bubble. One, chain four, two, three, and four. Keeping those at the front. And then we're going to simple stitch in the last two. Okay, and then we do a reverse row as normal. So we do a chain one, then pull through two until you get to the end.
And there we go, we've got our next row of cute little bobbles. And then we would just do a row of simple stitching. So we would starting in the second vertical bar, just grab the yarn and bring it under to do a simple stitch. And don't forget the smaller ones above the bobbles. And just do a row of simple stitches. And, that we, and there we go, that's the uh, bobble simple stitch design. And you can vary this and uh, do different amounts of rows in between your bobbles. You could space the bobbles further apart, so you could work to a unit of four or five. You want them more spaced apart, it's entirely up to you. Just have a play, see how you get on. And uh, I think this is a lovely textural fabric. Um, it feels really, really soft and um, would make really a really lovely blanket, I think, for a little one who likes to maybe fiddle with the blanket and um, for a sensory toy it would be really lovely. That's it. And then you would just repeat that again until you had a fabric that works up like this. So it's got these lovely little bubbles. And uh, there we go. That is the bubble simple stitch. So I hope you enjoy that tutorial. I hope you may give it a go and uh, I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching. Bye.